My name is Bo Gibney. I'm the owner of Green Vision Materials. Green Vision Materials produces, packages, and distributes landscape products. We do the natural mulches, uh, double ground, triple ground, we even have a quadruple cut. And then we also produce the colored mulches in double ground and triple ground. We produce topsoils, leaf humus, composted manure, and then we also do a variety of soil blends. Our customers uh, on the bulk side of the business are landscapers, garden centers, and we also have a pretty robust retail division. Uh, on the uh, commercial side and packaging, uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards, True Value Hardware. So the characteristics that we look for here, first of all, a clean product. We want it to be free of any foreign contaminants. Um, we want it to have a nice shred, uh, not real chunky, a nice fuzzy shred to it. Uh, good consistency, well blended, and nice color. The main things we were looking for in equipment was uh, the build. We needed a machine that was going to be heavy duty. This is a very brutal industry in terms of the, the demands on the machine. So we needed something that was heavy enough to withstand the, the rigors of the, of the processing. Um, we needed a machine that was well supported. We selected the Moorbark tub grinder because, believe it or not, when we started in 2000, we had a Moorbark tub grinder. That was our first machine. We really loved it, kind of cut our teeth on it. And then when the industry was uh, migrating over to the horizontals, we got rid of the tub, went to horizontals, but really missed the way the tub finished the mulch. So we had an opportunity now, fast forward 22 years later, and it was an instant fit. The difference in the finish of the mulch with the tub versus the horizontal, horizontals tend, for whatever reason, to make a little bit of a chunkier material, and it'll actually produce a, a nugget um, within the shredded material. We're not seeing that with the tub. We're getting a very consistent shred, almost a fuzzy, fluffy consistency. We stuck with Moorbark because we always had very good results with their equipment. We've had other manufacturers in here and Moorbark just seems to hold up a lot better. The components and just the structure on the Moorbark is very heavy duty, good quality parts, and uh, you know we track all of our expenses of course per machine and we just find that we're not putting the money into the Moorbarks that we had put into other machines. A lot of people are very concerned. Tubs have gotten a bad rap over the years um, because they do have a tendency to eject material. Um, there are techniques that you can implement that greatly reduce that. Uh, and I don't know if you were able to see from my startup process uh, that reduction, but generally what I'll do is I'll load material to the side of the tub that doesn't have the mill and then grab another full bucket of material, hang it over the mill, ramp up the throttle, start the rotation, and then immediately drop that load of material on top of the mill, and it drastically reduces the amount of material ejected. And then, of course, on shutdown, what I tend to do, if I know I'm gonna stay in the regrind, um, I won't completely empty the tub. I'll let it start spitting some material to let me know that the mill's exposed, and then I'll just throttle down, let it clear what's over the mill, and shut it down. Uh, favorite features, so love the new remote. This is the new, uh, the newest version, I guess. Um, we haven't had that on prior machines, so it's really nice to be able to see all the parameters and engine functions right on the remote and be able to adjust things as we need in terms of tub speed and, and engine speed and things like that. Uh, love the tracked undercarriage, uh, that was a big one. All our uh, prior machines had wheels under them, but this is a breeze to move around the yard. It is very, operating the tub grinder is very easy. Uh, once you get to know it, it's like anything. Uh, you get used to what it wants, how it likes to work, and um, it's, there's actually nothing to it. We would absolutely recommend more of our tub grinders.